Welcome to Cellmac Machinery's Knowledge Base. Today we're going to be teaching you how to work out what different radiuses, what different V sizes that you're going to be using on your press brake for folding your materials. First of all, we need to know what size V is required for what material. Okay, 6 to 8 times material equals the V size up to 3 mil. So, 3 times 8, 24. If you're folding 3 mil, suggested is a 24 millimeter V. 10 to 12 times material equals V size above 3 millimeter. So if you fold in 10 mil plate, 10 times 10 mil is 100 millimeter V. Simple. Once you've worked your V size out, you need to understand the correct radius on the top tool must be used. So, if we are folding one millimeter, a 0.2 to a 0.8 rad would be plenty. When we're folding three mil, you're gonna be needing something like a three millimeter rad. Let's say you want to fold some 10 millimeter plate. You're going to need at least a six millimeter radius on the nose of your tool. Now, if you're folding, let's say eight millimeter or 10 millimeter aluminium, you're going to need at least a 24 millimeter, so eight, 10 in alloy equals at least 24 mil. We're going to show you a bending chart which is on the side of every machine that we sell and there's usually a bending chart on every machine uh, that everyone sells. Very fair, very rare you can find one. So we'll take you to a machine and show you Chart. To accurately get the correct radius for your top tool, let's follow the chart. 10 millimeter material followed across to 100 mil V shows that the inside radius will be 15.5. So if your top tool had the exact 15.5 radius, when you fold it, it will come out without any marks, any denting any cracks in the steel, it will be perfect. Let's see two mil. Two mil in a 20 mil V gives an inside radius of three millimeters. It's important to have a top tool with something like 2.8, three mil radius so there is no marking and no cracking of the steel. If you were to use a tool with a 0.8 you will find a very sharp line down the center of the material afterwards which could give metal fatigue and crack. Okay this chart remember is for mild steel. If you were doing 10 mil aluminium obviously aluminium when you fold it could crack unless you have the right radius. You want to be at least 22 24 mil on 10 mil to get it to fold it without cracking it. It is very important. Other materials that are brittle, you must use a big inside radius. For any advice on this, give us a call. Let's show you some of the different V's that can be used. We call this a T-shaped single V. Comes in many sizes of V, up to about 25 mil. It also comes in different angles, 88, 
85, 60, 45, and also 30 degrees. It also comes with different heights here. Also, we can make special to a particular height that you require. The tube is designed with the minimum distance from here to here, allowing a fold to be placed there once another fold has been done, giving the longest length possible depending on your job. Other tools, once you reach the 25, they start to get bigger now. We do large single Vs. Again, we do these in all the angles created here, but only down to about 45 degrees. A 30 would be a bit of a special, um, making it rather wide. So, some come with a police machined out in the bottom, but once they reach a certain size, obviously they become solid. They go from 60 to 90 to 120 across this distance here and there's always enough distance here for the tool to drop between the clamps. They come with the standard radiuses and again the minimum distance from here to here that can be folded with the correct tonnages without damaging the tool. Okay there are many more bottom tools um, you can see them in our catalogue or you can see them on the internet on our website but let's take a look at some of the top tools now. A standard gooseneck punch would be shaped something like this. We do this also in different heights, different angles. We do an 80, 85 should I say, an 88 and a 90. Um, we also do a gooseneck with a 45 degree nose and again don't forget we do them with different radiuses depending on the material thickness that you're folding. Another type of tool would be a swan neck. This is for folding very tight channels. With the smallest one we do would be seven millimeters from here to here but this tool will only take 30 tons per meter and is very easily damaged so it's basically only for thin materials okay let's talk about thick materials this is called a heavy duty punch basically we can do this tool with up to a 6mm radius. This can come also different angles. We do 45, we do 60, we can do 90. And obviously the radiuses change a little bit from five to six millimeters. This is basically for heavy plate, um, up to 90 degrees mainly, but you can get around to 60 and 45 depending on the material thickness that you're bending. Next tools. Okay. If you're doing a rather large radius with rather large V, let's say a 200mm V, 300mm V, we do a selection of holders that look like this and on the bottom of the holder you will place a radius tool. The radius tool can come in different sizes and there is a slot machined in the top 